Black Sad, Under the Skin. Before we take a deep dive into the review, I can show you a few beautiful takes of our old town Tallinn in Estonia. Our Christmas market this year, it is and it really feels very Christmassy. We are missing snow at the moment, but I'm sure we'll be buried in it in a week. But now, let's get into the review. Initially created as a comic album series by two Spanish authors, Juan Diaz Canals and Juanjo Guarnindo. I'm sorry for butchering the names. But the game Black Sad Under the Skin tries to stay true to the original version, style and feel of the creators. Now the first thing you notice as you google this game is the Steam rating. It's 9 out of 10! Well, let me tell you something right now. This is preposterous to, to all the reasons I'm about to inform you. But let's get into the good stuff first. Well, to be honest, I have never seen or had any experience with this particular comic series, so, so this was my first entry to that universe. And boy, was I surprised to see uh, rhinos, cats, dogs and lions running around on two feet having human bodies and stuff. I laughed my ass off at first, but chairs quickly turned serious because I realized that this game was a detective experience where homicides and conspiracies needed to be solved. What I love about Black Sad is that your actions have some consequences. It's a total ripoff from Telltale series format. But graphics are way more pleasing to the eye. But not all your choices matter, but I will come to that. So the story takes place during the 1950s when protagonist John Black Sad is approached by the daughter of boxing club owner who has died suspiciously. As the story unravels, you can make both small and big decisions that may massively impact the narrative and the timeline. You have six different different endings, and trust me, I got the worst one yet again. There are also smaller choices that may lead to a slightly different story paths, but uh, noth nothing major, like taking bribes and so on. Most of the choice making takes place during the cutscenes, and some may only have one outcome. <laughs> some, some wrong answers might just get you killed. I mean, you have maybe three different things to say, but you can only survive when you choose one of them, one correct one. And this usually happens to be very gruesome, surprising or just very funny. Sometimes the game asks you to use your detective eye, which means that you need to set your cursor on a specific point on the screen to zoom in and find the clue. The controller usually rumbles when you are near, but damn, this is, this is the part where the problems start to show. So when your detective eye is active, your screen gets all messed up, blurry and glitchy. First time this happened, I went to check if my HDMI my cables behind the computer and TV were faulty or connected properly. What a stupid thing to implement! When you play Black Sad, you need to pay attention to the dialogue because sometimes the game hits you with quizzes. And, and, and if you solve them wrong, you can't progress until you manage to get the clues and the orders of the clues uh, to get them right. You need to tie the discoveries you have made and steer the narrative to the right direction. But game areas that you actually move in are small, minimal and not very detailed, but full of collectibles. That's a plus. Well, parts of the collectible cards anyway. And you will not probably get them all in one playthrough. And <laughs> to get the platinum trophy, you need to complete the game at least three times. The game itself is full of bugs and errors. I mean, <laughs> you can sometimes walk through walls. You sometimes even lose your save and you need to start from very far away or like happened to me from the big beginning. Like, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just buggy, buggy, buggy mess. You can sometimes get stuck on just ridiculous things and you need to load your game. Like, I got stuck with this forklift. And I meant not getting stuck, like uh, getting stuck, like, oh, what to do, where to go, but physically getting stuck. There are a couple of things that are going for this game. Those are the storyline and the characters. So basically, that kept me interested, at least for this one playthrough. But I don't want to spoil it. So anyways, I think that I have said enough. This game deserves and gets a 6 out of 10 from me. And I hope that you liked this review. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell. And if you dare, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas and thanks for watching. Till next time.